Oh, I am super excited. Well, I'm pretty sure you are too. Uh, after OMDS made an announcement to the announcement event next week, uh, everyone just yeah bubbling at the moment. Like, oh, what's going on? You know, and uh, are they going to announce new products? You know, whatever. You know, I've already received for quite a few messaging uh, messages uh, asking me about that particular question. All I can say is that. I have no idea. I have really, I have no idea what they're gonna say um, the, or what is coming. Um, yeah, I don't think any Olympus ambassador currently knows anything either. Uh, uh, you know, I think it's only the the senior executives or a selected group of people within OMDS uh, who are working on the uh, announcement event would know the details of, of what's what's going on. Uh, so, yeah. Don't, don't don't pestering me about <laughs> what's happening. Is there, is there anything exciting coming? Uh, uh, yeah, you know, if I know anything, uh, I, I, I well, I still can't say it really. I, mean, I signed the NDA, so I can't say it to you. But I would be less uh, 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 kind of have this nervous, nervous uh, look, kind of smiling, <laughs> laughing, uh, uh, because I'm on the same boat as you guys. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say. But anyway, so I guess we'll just have to stay tuned for next Wednesday and, and see uh, uh, what OMDS, OMDS has to say. I am away next week, so I won't be able to do a... Uh, 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 I mean, originally, I was planning to do a live stream, uh, maybe to watch it together, so with this, just to see the, the reactions. Uh, but I, I'm not sure whether I could still do it through an iPhone because I'm actually away, so I won't be on my computer. And, uh, 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 you know, if I have the time, if I have the connection, I may do that through the iPhone if it's capable of doing such a thing. And uh, if not, then I may make something uh, afterwards just to want to see uh, what you guys think about the event and things like that. Uh, so, yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, as I said, you know, I want to bring my coffee time uh, live streaming back because I, it's, it's fun, it's engaging, and I love you guys as well. You know, you can talk to me live. That's really all cool. Um, but apart from that, you know, um, the, there's some, another exciting news today. It's about DJI. You know, hey, they just announced the latest uh, Ronin D, um, is it DC4. I can't remember exactly the model number, but it's like eight grand. And uh, it's, it's a very expensive movie gimbal, you know, which is a, 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 a the high end, aiming for the high end uh, uh, filmmakers. Uh, definitely not for consumers, well, unless you're loaded. And uh, uh, so it, it looks cool. But the coolest thing is not just about the design of it, but it's, it's the using the LiDAR sensor, in which I've been talking about it since two years ago. Uh, since uh, 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 Apple has using LiDAR to, for their uh, depth mapping uh, through the iPhone and to create depth of fields and also focusing. So I'm glad to see, you know, DJI uh, really utilize this LiDAR technology to uh, as a focusing aid. Um, what that means is they, they're turning every single manual lenses uh, uh, i.e. cine lenses into auto focusing lenses uh, through the LiDAR sensor. So it's, it's still fairly I wouldn't say complicated, but you know, it's all linked together to the focusing motor, uh, who, who, which is connected to the LiDAR sensors and through the gimbals, whatnot, and everything uh, as kind of integrated, but it works. I mean, I've seen uh, people demonstrating it last year and uh, uh, with, with their, I think it was the Eagle Eyes. And uh, so they had the similar technologies there, but this time I think it's more full blown, more developed, more mature. Uh, so I, I'm quite eager to see exactly uh, how this thing would translate in a future consumer product. And this this is de definitely going to happen. Uh, I just want to see what other uh, manufacturers are going to uh, respond to that because currently, you know, uh, DJI is the only company using lidar sensors to do such a, a, a focusing uh, mechanism. I haven't seen anybody else does that, so uh, it's going to be very interesting to see if um, uh, they would uh, uh, or anybody else would adopt the same kind of technologies to their products. So yeah, I, I I'm super excited for that as well because. Uh, as a filmmaker, as, as a video guy myself nowadays, um, the, such a technology would definitely or dramatically uh, help uh, filming, you know, and uh, especially self-filming, because, you know, if something that can recognize as objects and, uh, and also like focus literally any lenses, you know, especially my older vintage lenses or Cine lenses, which are manual only, that will be fantastic, right? That will be fantastic. And apparently, lighter sensor works in, uh, works in the dark as well, <laughs> because it's not that just doesn't need light, and uh, uh, it's all radar technologies there, so it's it's really accurate. Um, yeah, it's it just fantastic. Then I mean, you can shoot a 0.95 or really shallow depth of field and still maintain a pin sharp focus at any sort of lighting uh, given lighting situations. This will be cool.
this will be really cool uh, yeah so this is kind of like this week's technology things that i've, I've seen and uh, that kind of excites me and obviously the most exciting thing will be olympus uh, and uh, uh, i'm hoping you guys are as well uh yeah, remember to support me give me a thumb uh, subscribe of course if you haven't been here before and if you'd like to stay in touch with all kinds of photography stuff and of course michael forther and olympus thank you very much and i'll see you all very soon bye for now sure